Anna Maria Luzardi, the academic director of the Global Financial Literacy Excellence Center. And I would like to tell you about these new data. I'm very happy to report that the findings from the SP Global Financial Literacy Survey are now available. All of the information is posted on our website at gflac.org. This is the first global survey on financial literacy covering more than 140 countries and we can learn so much from it. How is financial literacy measured? The questions were designed keeping into consideration the concept at the basis of financial decision making and which are universal. In other words, they can be asked in any country. These concepts are interest compounding, Numeracy, or the capacity to do calculation in the context of interest rate, inflation, and risk diversification. What are the findings? There are many findings, and I'm going to highlight just a few. Only one in three people worldwide is financially literate. Thus, around the world, the large majority of the population doesn't have a good grasp of the basic financial concepts. What do people know the most? People understand inflation and can do simple calculations about interest rate. What do people know the least? Risk diversification is the most difficult concept for people to grasp. In addition, there are large differences in financial literacy among countries, even in the most advanced economies or the countries that are part of the European Union. Having a high per capita income does not necessarily translate into a higher financial literacy. There are also differences among population subgroups. One striking finding of the data is that in most countries, there are large differences in financial literacy between women and men. Women are less likely to be financially literate. When answering the financial literacy questions, women are more likely to say, I do not know. What does the data tell us? It tells us that we need to step up the effort for financial literacy. Levels of financial literacy around the world are simply too low. My hope is that policymakers, practitioners, academics, the private sector will all use these findings to design better financial education and financial literacy programs. They are much needed. There are many other findings, and I invite all of you to check the report on our website and to continue to come back to that website to see all of the new research we will continue to do on this data.